Hello, BAME Farm fans. We got a quick bit of work today. Got the bean head behind me. And what do we see? We got some short, stubby fingers. And that's not good. And I got a lot of, out of clearance between the sickle bar. Sitting on the cart, yeah, it's gonna be a little tight for clearance. Now down here, we don't have as much clearance at the ends. Uh, why, why did that happen? Why are these middle ones short? All right here in the middle, at some point, well before I got the combine, the center tube broke. And I think when it broke, it was sagging such that these got in the sickle and voila, they're plastic, they got cut off. And it seems like every single one of them, even out here, that looks like that's been cut. That's not a factory end. So, how many does it take to do a whole head? About 300. So, short stubby fingers, what's in this big box? 300 new real fingers. Which compared to these center ones, adds a couple inches. Might really help the feeding problems I've been having. Such that they do a little bit better job of pushing the material down here back into the auger. If that doesn't fix it, although we may have to change our real position. Oh, which is sort of midway, somewhat far back. I don't know how much far back we can go. I mean, they can go farther out, but I imagine we'd want it farther in. And, uh, well, looking inside here, you know, how much more can we go in? There was only a couple inches back there. The joys of a hydraulic-driven reel. When you loop the hydraulics back to themselves, you can turn everything. So, get fun set for some fun fixing action. Well, you just saw us go through two, two rungs of new fingers based on the shiny new screws. Now, we got these from Shoop. Let's right. take a look. You see the gap? Yes, well, fingers and gap, I mean, I don't know. It's, young girls worry about thigh gap, but this isn't the kind of gap we want. Now let's look at these old ones. As far as I know, these are probably factory. Yeah, you see the seam there, but no gap. And I really gotta watch myself. The reason why there's a gap, is because if I tighten them, if we look at this end one, and I hope the camera has good enough resolution, will zoom in for me, there's the seam. And that's cracked because I took it down probably a half turn too far. Now, judging by these old ones, I should pretty well be able to bring it down. That's a lot of gap there. I can't take it any tighter or else I'll crack it, and I don't want to crack it because well, that weakens the integrity of the screw holding it in place. So I'm kind of just taking them down and guessing that I have, it, have these tight enough. 
Now we don't have one of these apart, but we'll take an old one. What helps hold these in place is that uh, little little thing in there, little bit sticking up. I don't know what you want to call it. I wouldn't call it a finger because then we have a finger on a finger. It's it's a uh, you know a little chunk of plastic to go into the hole in the bottom of the of the, of the pipe here. I guess we, we'll find out when we go to the field, but I am rather not enthused with the quality on these. I mean, it's a piece of plastic. I was hoping an aftermarket place couldn't mess up a piece of plastic that bad, but apparently, you know, making these things in China most likely, that, you know, they picked the smaller metric equivalent instead of the proper, or just using SAE like it probably was originally. So yes, look at the daylight coming through there. Well, we'll find out when we take this to the field uh, how much they messed up doing their job. Something so simple as a $2 piece of plastic.